Hello everyone, my name is Zuri Dahwami and I am from University Malaya. In this video, I will show you a quick three ways to make a project in Sway. This is a pre-recorded video, and in this video, I will show you an overview of using Sway. Sway from Microsoft Office is a free app. It allows interactive reports, presentation, school and work project, personal story, even vacation memories, and more. Anybody can use Sway if they sign up for a free Microsoft account, and you can create it anywhere because it is a web-based canvas uh, that looks great on almost any screen. Begin by adding text and images of your own, searching for and importing related content from other sites, and then let Sway do the rest for you. It is so easy to share your Sway. Others can see your creation on the site without needing to signing up, sign in, or installing something. Other than that, you can always adjust the privacy settings for any of your Sway. So basically, all you need is a web browser. Are you ready to make your own Sway? So, let's get started. Firstly, to start a new Sway, go to sway.office.com in any browser and then click the icon to sign in on the top menu bar. In my case, I'm going to use Microsoft Edge. When prompt, you can log in with your Microsoft account. After that, you will see a page like this. This is the Sway page. There are three options to choose for creating a new Sway. You can create from a blank canvas. It is the most common ways to create a new Sway from scratch. You can add your own text and media files. You can also start from a topic. Sway has a good features to create a sway from any topics by typing a keyword and sway will create an outline for you that provide information, images, recommendation, and references. Or even start from a document such as Word, PowerPoint, or PDF file. Secondly, let's say I'm creating a new Sway from scratch. This is the Sway storyline. The storyline is where you add content to your Sway. The content is organized by adding cards in sequential order, where each card contains any type of content you want such as text, pictures, videos, or even insert documents from your computer. To customize your Sway, simply click the plus icon at the bottom of the card to add materials such as text, media, and group to the Sway. Text can be added as heading or simple text. You can also add media such as images, audio, video, or group any media you want.
One thing I love about the comparison option in group is it is best used for comparing two different images. So you can see the differences side by side. After you're done adding content to your sway, the third way is to change the style. The style choices is at the top right of the design tab. The remix button helps you apply a random design to your sway. In this way, you will save time for making your sway. Of course, you can use the default design suggested by sway. Still, you can select and add your own and even customize the layout to your desire. To make and review adjustment, you can scroll through the sway and flip between storylines and design. Click on the play button on the top right menu bar to preview how it looks to others when you share it later. So voila, your sway is ready. Other than that, you can share your sway online to anybody you want. Just click the share button on the top menu bar and then select how you want to share your sway. Because of Sway is a web-based app, you can export and save your Sway to review it offline later. So basically, that's all you need to make any project you desire. For the end of this video, please take care of yourself and I will be seeing you guys later. Bye!